Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. It is continuation series on SAPSD Support Project Real Time Tickets. So I don't see there is an issue in the ticket. It's kind of in a customer education that we are going to do as part of this ticket. So business rejected an item in the order during creation. After saving that order, they don't see the change log. I mean, they don't see that uh, when it was rejected, who it was rejected, and what time, what's the old value, what's the new value. So basically, they don't see any change log in the two database tables, CD, HDR, and CD pass tables. Let me tell you and show you that in the screen. Okay, let me try to create one order now. Go to VA01 to create an order. Let me take this reference. The order type is. Let me go to header. It's a CBDC. CBDC. Create with reference, add a number, and copy. That's fine. Copy. Yeah. Okay. I didn't get anything here. Now what I will do? I will copy the materials from this order. The material and order one should be ten. The plant is missing. That's okay. So, so I am in creation mode of an order. Now I am going to reason for rejection tab and applying some rejection here. I am saving this one now. See, I am in create mode only. I will save now. Enter some odd reason. Click on OK. If I go to change mode, let me. So changes can be seen in two ways. Either in table level. CD, HDR, and CD pass table. You guys know about this, right? CD, HDR, the change document header table, CD pass, this change document item table. Okay, the object for a sales order is CD, HDR, CD pass. So the object class. Okay, our change document object is for order is change document object is V E R K B E L E G work bellag. Okay, so sales order changes will be stored in this object only. And if I add this work bellag, and okay, this is the one way we can see the change log. And other way is to check in the environment in the order environment changes, and if you execute, it will show the list of changes. As of now, we can see that there is no change happened. That means we rejected that item in the creation of an order, not change of an order. So during creation of an order. Whatever we do, we can change anything. We can add an item, delete an item, quantity change, reason for rejection can be applied, plan can be changed, shipping condition can be changed or removed. Anything we can do, but that won't be recorded or saved anywhere in the database system. The changes will be started recording into the database table when we do in the change of an order only, existing order only, not during the creation of an order. It's a standard behavior. Okay, so let me. Tell you. Let me enter this order in the CD pass table as well. Okay, I'm going to CD pass table. Mm. This order number. Remember that CD pass table will work as per the internal way. Internal way in the sense the length of the order number is 10 characters, right? 
and if the order is created less than 10 characters means that means number is not yet completely occupied so in that case we should add leading zeros the remaining leading zeros we see as of the the length of the order number is 521085 right 5 that means we should add five more zeros here 1 2 3 4 5 execute it is saying that no value is found now what i will do i will try to add one more item one more item and save this save this save this save it and let me open order now if i go to the changes now we can see one change log here right item has been added created same thing can be seen in see city pass table also now entry has been added the object is work bella you see the order number and uh, which table has been changed either vbap or vbp and uh, what change has been carried out you see here earlier the status of an order is completed now it become open partial in process or something right so the old value new value and uh, this incompletion log right so like this we will see the data so we have given the explanation to business saying that if you do any changes in that uh, creation of an order or any transaction that won't be saved in the change history in the or in the change log tables that should be recorded when we do the changes in the change of an order so there is solution for this one it's an exception behavior that we have explained to the user or business so we should remember that we will be always getting the ticket where we need to do some fix no sometimes we should educate the user as well how the sap works in this case we are educating the user there is no issue here okay fine then we will meet in the next video thank you everyone